So oftentimes when I talk about what's happening with people, I say like it's like we're going to live in a real time video game run by the CIA to profit, defense, and finance interests, okay? And so really often I talk about militarized head funds and the military is central to this because the augmented reality, the simulation, the predictive profiling, the game theory is very much part of war gaming. And so we can't underestimate the role of defense contracting interests in all of this, okay? And the reason we're here at the Austin Center at 701 Brazos is here in Austin is um, last year uh, a center opened actually in a co-working space called the Capital Factory and this was one of the tenants was this Center for Defense Innovation. Now this Center for Defense Innovation had I believe about four different cities that it had bases in and one of them was Austin and the um, the army was one of the key uh, occupants anchor tenants and it was this army lab that was working on essentially facilitating defense contracting with smaller tech companies uh, for projects like robotics used in the in the army like robot soldiers and robot vehicles in in the autonomous vehicles in defense situations and so what has happened and Booz Allen Hamilton is actually a presence here in this Center for Defense Innovation that is weirdly like in a co-working space, right? And so it, it, I sort of joke that it feels like like gig Armageddon, right? Like like people who are who are pursuing these startups um, maybe have a very small footprint now have this uh, opportunity to engage with the U.S. military and get these contracts. And so I think officially the center was announced in 2019. <laughs> at South by Southwest and then it was built over like the next year and it's you know I've seen pictures on the press releases it has nice murals it has like you know it's all hip and like it looks like hipsterville only it's the army and Booz Allen Hamilton <laughs> um, and they're like they, they talk about hey it's like the people in military um, um, you know personnel in military attire mixing it up with pe guys in t-shirts and hoodies you know here planning the future of warfare. Um, and so I think it's really important to understand when we imagine what the future of militarization is, is that really our whole environment is being militarized and it's being militarized in the domestic space. And so like who knows exactly who is going to be the target of military intervention in the future. I mean some of this is really focused on like the army has written many papers about megacity urban warfare and who knows if all those megacities they imagine to be abroad or do they imagine them to be inward facing at some point but we are creating an economy built on war and violence and a lot of it is built into simulations and video games to make it more normal and more acceptable and we're building it into co-working spaces and gig work and so when we were at the um the the uh social finances uh, work with general assembly and coding boot camps like the future of war is coding i mean that's what it is and so we're, we're building the prison and we're building the future battlefield and so we need to recognize that and as much as you might want to put it in a a, a hip space with murals and um you know talk about how um you know, accessible it is to have these small businesses participate in all this army contracting. Like we're in Austin, it's supposed to be Liberalville, right? Music and liberal politics and all of this stuff, but we're still building it all on the war machine. And we, we can't underestimate the war machine's role in what is coming with the um, mixed reality future that they have planned. So I'm just gonna take up my dandelions up to the door and do my thing. Dandelions over DARPA. <laughs> Scrappy moms against AI for a global peace movement. That is what we are here for. And we can't let this future of economic growth based on synthetic biology and war come to pass. <laughs>